and welcome to well, the kitchen, to the kitchen in London. Today I have a surprise for you. If you love baking and reading, then buy this. The Gruffalo Crumble and other recipes. And today we're going to bake the Caterpillar Stwitz. And it's really yummy because there's chocolate and it's my favourite thing in the whole wild world. So I hope you enjoy it. This book is all about having fun with food. If you are a Gruffalo fan like me, you will love this book. It is full of great ideas for everyday meals, special treats and party snacks to share with family and friends. So you will need one puff pastry, red chocolate and my mum bought Natalella for me and you will need chocolate buttons, white ones and they're my favourite in the whole wild world. And you'll need a baking tray, a baking tray, a butter knife, a sharp knife or a pizza cutter. So that's all you need. But first of all, we have to turn on the oven at 200 Celsius degrees. Lay out the puff pastry in front of you. Cut it into halves. So you have two smaller sheets. Smear chocolate spread all over one sheet using a butter knife. Carefully put the other sheet on top of the chocolate covered one. Cut it into equal strips. Pick up one of the strips. Hold to each end and twist it until you have a spiral. Then place carefully on the baking tray. Repeat with the other strips. It's all ready, so we're going to put it in a hot boiling oven, but it's hot, not for children, so my mummy will help me open it and put it inside, and then it'll soon be ready and very tasty. Bake for 15 to 20 minutes until golden brown.
going to help me cut them out. Allow to cool for 10 minutes. Then place two chocolate buttons on the end of each caterpillar twist as eyes. The caterpillars should still be warm enough for the chocolate to melt and stick to the pastry. Finish off each eye with a blob of chocolate spread. I hope your caterpillar twists are perfect. There are lots of caterpillars in the deep dark wood. These make a very chocolatey breakfast treat. Yummy!